Hey, what's up, guys? Just want to make a real quick video here talking about Charlie being revealed in Street Fighter V. Um, yeah, I think it's really awesome. At least I'm happy for the fans of, of the franchise who wanted to see Charlie come back. I think this is the proper way to reveal a character, unlike the DiCapri mess, which I've already talked about back in the day. I won't be bringing it up all the time, but it's true, you know, a lot of fans had a lot of positive reception to this character, and that's great, and I know it's going to sound, I'm going to sound like a broken record by saying this, but it is honestly true for for just at least this this particular thing, and that is, quite frankly, I'm happy that you guys are, are you know, excited for Charlie and everything. Me, I mean, it's nice to see a new alpha character, you know, an, a returning character. I'm not sure where he fits in, in the storyline, uh, but for me personally, again, um, I'm at least somewhat interested in this game now, now that I actually saw, oh, hey, they're bringing Charlie back, who are going to be the other characters that they release. So I am interested in that, but Charlie himself as a character, like I said, great for you guys who like that character. I'm sure, you know, it's going to be great for you. But for me personally, I'm not the biggest Charlie fan or Guile fan. Um... I just never really cared for those full-on charge characters. I would say I will say that those characters take probably some of the most skill to to use. So I respect all the people who do play as Guile and and Charlie. I think those characters um, actually take a lot of skill. So I do respect those people who are very very good with those characters. Uh, but for me, like I said, I just never really cared for those characters much because they were full-on charge characters. Um, in fact, I actually really liked E Honda, Blanca, uh, Chun Li. You know, I, I really liked those characters a lot better that also had charge attacks. But I just thought, with their playstyle, they had something that just fit. You know, if I wanted to do, you know, the roll, you know, I could do the the down and the, you know, the charge down and up. If I wanted to do like an angled one or or straight, you know, cannonball or whatever, I thought that was really well you know, it just better suited me. Um, e Honda, again, you know, doing the, I guess, the sumo slam or whatever, and then doing, like, the sort of ass stomp, if you will. I'm not sure what it's called, but you have that, you know. I just thought those were better uh, charge attacks than, you know, the flash kick or the sonic boom. You know, especially, especially the sonic boom, because whenever you have somebody... And maybe this is just a technique I don't really understand, but it's like, when you have quarter circle punch to be able to throw a fireball and your your attack is holding left for two seconds or excuse me right for two seconds and then hitting left and punch I don't know for me that just seems like you're gonna lose a fireball spam match not that I fireball spam but it just seems like if you came into contact with someone who did fireball spam or really was projectile heavy it just seemed like I don't know I just, you never really could counteract that so Again, I always do respect those people who are the big Charlie Guile fans who who can play the character very well because I think they have a lot of skill. I think they have some of the most skill in the franchise. But beyond that, like I said, there, it's just not my cup of tea as far as the character. Um, I am excited for the character, but I, I'm not going to be playing as this character in particular. So it does give me hope for at least somewhat of the character roster coming out. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Cool, Charlie. I don't really know where he fits in in the timeline. I, I, I know he's from the Alpha games, obviously, but I'm not sure where Street Fighter V fits in because they're bringing Charlie back. I don't really know Charlie's backstory or anything like that. Um, the other thing is, is if you're checking this out and checking for future reveals, you might want to check out uh, the character named Nash, for those of you who don't know. Um, Again, for those of you who don't know, Charlie is a character from the Alpha games, so he's not been in the other games. Uh, so if you don't know, this isn't a brand new character, it's an existing character. So for those of you who are new to that. But if you're actually looking for this character under alternate names, um, his Japanese name is Nash. So you might be looking for those kinds of gameplay trailers in the future. Uh, so I wouldn't just directly search Charlie, because it may not come up. So if you're looking for that or you're looking for news, um, be sure to check the Nash name rather than the Charlie name. I mean, localized American sites are going to probably localize it for the name Charlie, but, you know, like I said, just like Bison and Balrog, all that stuff being changed in Japan, 
you know, same deal with this character. So if you're interested in looking up anything for the future, you might want to keep that in mind. But again, that's pretty much my thoughts on the character. I think it's a good character reveal, just not my cup of tea as far as playing as the character. But I think it's a great head start for the franchise. Uh, hopefully they'll continue to make good reveals. We all know we all want Karen and Armika and Alex from Street Fighter 3. You know, those are some of the big request characters that they've never really got around to. And I think that's why so many people were disappointed with the whole DiCapri thing. You know, it's like, wow, we could have had Armika, we could have had this character, that character, but nope, you give us this character. You know, people were really disappointed with that. So I really hope to see, you know, them at least bringing out those other characters. Like I said, the big two being Alex and Karen. I really hope they bring those characters over. But I'd really like to see, since we have alpha characters being brought in, you know, now... I mean, they were brought in in Street Fighter 4, but, you know, at least we'll have a, a little bit better selection, hopefully, this time around. So hopefully we'll be getting Karen and possibly Armika. I think that would be, those would be really great characters to bring over. So that's just my thoughts on the alpha side that they're going to bring in. From Third Strike, I would love to see Yurian, uh, Alex, um, maybe Oro, uh, and I don't know. I mean, I think some characters might be kind of hard. Like, I think 12 would be kind of maybe a hard character to do. But, uh, again, that's all up in the air. But the big characters I would like to see would at least be Alex and Yurian. So those are, those are my opinion on those characters. Not sure if they'd ever make it due to story reasons and stuff. But, you know, I'd like to at least see Alex. I think there's no real excuse why you can't bring Alex in. Okay, maybe not Yurian or whatever. Fine. But I would like to see at least those characters. Maybe even Q. I think Q would be a great character. But again, I'm not sure how that would work out in the Street Fighter storyline, if you will. So, um, But I think you should at least bring Alex. You know, at least Alex. Okay, I'd like to see Q. If you can't do Yurian, that's fine. But I want those big characters. You know, Q and Alex. Uh, maybe Oro. You know, just trying to throw out some other characters that are a little more unique. Um, but I don't know, you know, whatever the fans want, I think it'd be great. So anyway, that's pretty much all I've got to say about those characters. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you for the next fighting game video. Peace.